so potnay session in which the concept is we will be reducing the quantity of the drug we will be reducing the quantity of the drug and increasing the quality of the drug so that is known as potnay session due to the concept that our medicines act dynamically okay or we act on the vital force and that's how our drugs act okay this is affects the vital force and our medicines are been prepared in this manner in order to enhance or stimulate the vital force okay so this is the important point regarding potentization now the two important classification on potentization that is trituration and succussion okay trituration and succussion on trituration we will be taking the drug section which are insoluble in water and as well as alcohol okay and here we use two scales so decimal and centesimal scale whereas for succussion where the drug substance is soluble in water and as well as alcohol and here the scales used are decimal centesimal and 50 millisimal scale okay decimal centesimal and 50 millisimal scale okay now the general classification between decimal and centesimal scale decimal scale is being written or been founded by dr herrick okay decimal scale whereas centesimal scale is been founded by dr samuel haim the drug vehicle ratio is 1:9 on decimal whereas 1:99 on centesimal okay 1:9 on decimal 1:99 on centesimal and the drug strength is 1 by 10 1 by 100 1 by 10 1 by 100 okay designation for decimal scale is x and for centesimal scale it will be written as either c ch okay or even without any designation it indicates the centesimal scale clear and we also use roman numbers for centesimal scale okay for example if it is 1000 potency we can write it as 1 m okay for 50000 uh, potency we can write as 50 m okay or l okay so those kind of designations using roman letters can be done for centesimal scale okay so that is regarding decimal and centesimal scale now going towards the trituration process so trituration process is an one hour process okay so trituration is a one hour process where we will be using motor and pestle and as well as sugar of milk is the vehicle which we commonly use for trituration okay so for one hour it is been divided into three where you will be adding the vehicle as three equal parts or one is to three is to five <coughs> okay so as per hanneman uh, whether it is one is to nine or one is to 99 the vehicle is divided into three equal parts that is three 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 or 33 33 33 as per hanneman as per hpa it is divided into three different parts one is to three is to five or 11 is to 33 is to 55 okay 1 is to 3 is to 5 for decimal scale and 11 is to 33 is to 55 for centesimal scale so this is how the vehicle is been divided on trituration as per hpa okay so this is a variation to be learned okay as per hanneman it is divided into three equal parts and as per hpa it is 1 is to 3 is to 5 okay yes okay now going again back to the trituration for one hour so where we divided to three parts and each section has two subsections totaling 10 minutes okay where six minutes we use for trituration six minutes is for rubbing or trituration three minutes is for scraping and one minute is for mixing okay six plus three plus one 10 minutes okay like that the process will be repeated and under uh, for every 20 minutes we will be adding the second part of vehicle or second or third part of vehicle okay so that is regarding trituration okay and the trituration can be converted into succussion okay the trituration drug substance can be converted into succussion when it reaches 6x or 3c okay when it reaches 6x or 3c and it will be done only when it reaches 6x or 3c due to the fact that when it reaches that potency the drug particle is so minute and it could be soluble okay so that is why 
it is been converted only when it reaches 6x or 3c and that conversion is known as flexion potency or jumping potency okay so conversion of 6x to 8x or 3c into 4c is known as flexion potency or jumping potency okay it is known as jumping potency because on decimal scale it jumps from 6 to 8 okay so that is flexion or jumping potency next one is straight potency when going towards the flexion potency you should also learn straight potency which is said by burt okay b u r t burt of london who said straight potency he has made a concept that we can prepare 6x to 7x and from 7x to 8x okay so that is straight potency 6x to 7x 7x to 8x okay straight potency so that's all regarding trituration next is succussion so when we go into succussion we should learn that succussion is the process of rising the potency which is soluble in water and as well as alcohol okay and i hope you all know the procedure okay holding the file in the hand thumb above the bottle and little finger beneath the bottle and doing the succussion on the left arm which ends in a jerk okay with uniform strength force and those things so that is how you do the succussion and here also decimal and centesimal scale drug vehicle ratio is same okay 1 is to 9 1 is to 9 9 okay and the vehicle used are alcohol and as well as distilled water okay alcohol and as well as distilled water is the vehicle used okay and at last 15 ml scale so 15 ml scale is nothing but it is an renewed dynamization as per the name coined by hanneman okay so this scale is been founded by dr samuel hanneman and it is been published on 6th edition of organon 15 ml scale okay Sixth edition of Organon. It is named by Hanneman as renewed dynamization. And Pierre Smith, P I E R R E, Pierre Smith, S C H M I D T. Okay. Pierre Smith is the person who named or coined the name as 50 millisimal scale. Okay. So this was never been used due to the publication on sixth edition. And you know the fact that. Yeah, sixth edition is a posthumous edition, and there was a misconcept that it got published or it got yeah, the narrations on it were being changed or manipulated. So due to the fact it was been never used. Okay, and only after P. S. Smith writes uh, a journal in the name of Hidden Treasures of Organon. Okay, Hidden Treasures of Organon, and in which he has mentioned regarding the fifty millimeter scale. Okay. only after which this scale got popular and it got be used okay and for each potency on 50 ml scale it rises by 1 by 50000 okay 1 by 50000 and the medicines prepared on 50 ml scale will be dispensed only using uh, uh, water okay using distilled water as liquid dose okay the 50 ml potency must be dispensed only as liquid dose okay and it will be mentioned or designated by 0 bar 1 or 1 bar 0 okay 0 bar 1 0 bar 2 0 bar 3 or 1 bar 0 1 bar uh, 2 bar 0 3 bar 0 in which the zero the zero is mentioning the poppy seeds to globule used on 50 ml scale okay the zero on the designation indicates the poppy seeds to globule and the size of the globule is 5 okay generally we use the globules is 30 and 40 the poppy seeds to globule size is 5 or 10 okay 5 or 10 next word these two terms do uh, do you guys know what is medicaments ela gote or medicaments a gold anyone medicaments ela gote or medicaments or globule does anyone know what it is
okay so these are two different terms okay both are different okay medicaments allagote and medicaments of globule both are different okay medicaments of globule stands for 50 ml scale because we will be preparing the preceding potencies or the succeeding potencies using one single globule one medicated globule which we use okay so that is known as medicaments of globule okay so that's why it is known as best medicament of globule so this is the word uh, for 50 ml scale and medicaments ala gote so gote you know on prescription writing gote or gtt okay gote stands for a drop so the medicines or the further potencies are being prepared using drops so that's why medicaments ala gote which stands for centesimal scale okay medicaments ala gote so this one stands for centesimal and medicaments of globule stands for 50 ml scale okay okay next is modified potencies so these are the important persons who have tried to modify the potency and you should also know that as they have started to form different methods for potentization Hanuman got angered okay due to his anger he has written on fifth edition of Argonaut that 30th potency is the maximum potency allowed for using okay so that is a short story okay so now going towards the modified potentization techniques Korsakov, Jenichen, Carol Dunham, Bernhard Pinky, Thomas Skinner and then Samuel Swan so Korsakov, Korsakov is a general of Russia and he has formulated that we can medicate, medicate uh, globules using one single medicated globule. Okay, we can medicate so many globules using one single medicated globule and he has tried to medicate 13,500 globules using one globule of sulfur 30. Okay, and he is the person who has developed or who has said that you should not carry the potassium medicine on your pocket and it may explode due to its overpowering during the shake okay when you carry it so Korsakov 13,500 globules he has tried to medicate using one globule of sulfur 30 okay next is Jenichen Jenichen considered that there is no need of further dilution you can just prepare one potency and just continuously give the succussion without diluting okay so that is Jenichen so after 10 he gives again 10 succussions so that it becomes as 2x okay or 2c so that is Jenichen's potency next one is Carol Dunham so Dunham is the person who has tried to missionize the process of potentization okay using an oil bin so Carol Dunham who missionized the process of potentization next one is Benhart Finke so Finke has made a concept that you take the medicine on a bucket okay or on a boat and into which you will be allowing a stream of water and as per the amounts of water flowing out each potency is being raised okay so you'll be allowing a stream of water into a bowl and as per the amount of water spills out the potency rises okay so that is Bernhard Finke next one is Thomas Skinner and Skinner developed a divide so Skinner developed a device which is a smaller one which can be mounted on the sink and that is known as automatic potentization okay Thomas Skinner next one is Samuel Swan so he has made the concept that you no need to prepare each potency you can take a fractional part of one potency and which can be used for preparing higher potency okay for example if you are going to prepare 10x from 1x you can take 0 0.1 gram and into which you can add 9.9 .9 grams of medicine and thus you have prepared 10x okay so this was the concept fractional part of potency to prepare higher potency okay by Samuel Schwab so these are the people who have modified the potentization and in which you should also learn the one more point of Korsakov okay so that is nothing but single well method and multiple well method 
so multiple level method is the thing which hanuman has found okay you should use multiple wells for each potency okay or <coughs> sorry fresh new well for each potency whereas korsakov has tried to use one single uh, well or one single bottle for each potency and he said that one part of drug always sticks to the bottle so into which you can add just the vehicle and do the succussion okay after preparing one potency he just transfers the content into another bottle and into which you just he will just add the vehicle without adding the drug because as per his concept the drug material remains on the sides of bottle okay <clears throat> that is enough for preparing next potency so that is known as korsakov single well method or korsakov potency okay okay so that's all regarding modified potentization